So I'm uh, Genevieve Murphy, and I'm a composer uh, I'm based in Amsterdam. I compose a lot for ensembles, and uh, I so I divide my I see my work lying across three different areas. So one is music, the other is the performance of the concert, and the third is the score itself. The score is a means of communication for the musician, so to me I regard it as visual art. So my scores also um, work in a gallery, and so I also um, merge into the art world in that sort of way, in the conceptual art, and do make scores in a gallery. <laughs> And this project now uh, is with two musicians of the X, and that's really a improvisation work. So this one, really, I'm thinking compositionally, but very much from the performance point of view. So it's not performative in the theatrical sense, but I'm really interested in uh, sharing the anatomy of my instrument, and um, the instrument is the bagpipes. And I first played with Terry Hessels and Andy Moore with their band where we went on a tour and they just spontaneously were like, hey Genevieve, come and join us for a few of the songs. And uh, I didn't even know what it was going to sound like. So they were just like, yeah, it's a surprise, don't worry about it, just come on. And it was so much fun and then I thought, yeah, we have to, we have to like actually do something with this because it's such a crazy combination to have these electric guitars and the way they play and then the bagpipes, which is such a bizarre tuning and uh, yeah, they can do so many extra things with their, with their guitars um, and create so many sounds that it's also really interesting for me to find, like, push the boundaries of what the bagpipes can do. The bagpipes interest me because it's such a challenge, actually. And it's what interests me also is, is if you're not looking, not being able to recognize the instrument. And the bagpipes, for sure, has got a, an identity, and it's very clear, but there's also certain elements that I think people don't know about within the instrument and all of its different tonalities and what you can do with the drones, the three pipes in the bag and that it's such a physical instrument. So I also get a lot from it. Like there's a lot of power that I feel and uh, I don't need to feel powerful, but it, so it puts me really in a, in a place. So I have to throw my whole body into it. Yeah, the challenge of that, the, the, the tuning of it, the way that it really um, dominates the situation makes it very hard for other musicians to try to cope with the instrument. I write a lot that's for the musicians and I can create the situation and um, give them the piece and try to and they can interpret it with me. With the bagpipes, what I really enjoy is that they really need to also be very much involved in the creation process. And because it's such a challenge, I also really love to really work spontaneously with musicians and understand how they can deal with this instrument. And the practice chanter, I also figured out uh, certain tones in that and so you can go from extremely quiet to uh, really loud with the bagpipes and the bagpipes is very much on off so uh, there's no mercy in that side for everyone else and and for me. What I think about with performance is, the, is that I like the transparency of really seeing what's happening. And what I'm going to enjoy with this 
piece that we'll do tonight is that um, you see everything. You see how I'm trying to manipulate the bagpipes and um, how much air pressure I'm using and it's all very clear. And so it's got this physical element alongside the sound, which is, um, yeah, I'm going to try to show its broad range. And uh, I think it's just incredible to play with these two guitarists. I think that they just make it work and together we become an organism. <laughs> I found this festival really refreshing. Like, it's been amazing to be here. Everybody is really friendly, and also everyone is saying, everybody's really friendly. So everyone's, every friendly person is saying, it's really friendly here. And the music has been really fresh, really in the moment, very uh, diverse range of pieces, and also different approaches in how to compose and how to deal with the situation that they're in. And, um, yeah, and work with this space. And already I'm experimenting in different rooms because of the different sounds that you can get. And it's that that you can really personalize the, the place that you're going to play. So, yeah, it's uh, incredible. It's been an incredible time these, these days.